Hi everyone, my name is Mad Matt Lugos and welcome back to Greece. So we made a start with the game last time. Um, we made our way through the little tutorial area. We know that we collect these little white dots. I'm going to call them spirits to help us progress through the puzzles. Then we made our way into the red sort of part of the game. Uh, where this, I'm going to call it like an orchestral wind or dust, like um, sandstorm or dust storm blows in every occasionally blows us back the music's amazing so uh, we're just going to carry on with things here so i think we just need to slam down again we're going down 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 here oh we've got a shadow Shadow world underneath us here. And breaking pots. The more pots we break, the more birds get released. Is that bad? Okay, didn't get to explore that very thoroughly. I'll maybe go back, get to go back. Let's head down this slide. Hey! our way up this tower. So we're on a windmill here. Interesting to see if there is any explicit narrative here. Whether it is this more sort of subjective, passive experience. Back into the red here. Sorry. I'm not killing any rock people. I refuse. such a lovely atmosphere you know it's always interesting the difference it can make in a game when there's no you know threat when there's no obvious threat in the game no enemies So, 
How do we get up? This was rickety, right? There we go. I am quite shocked at my uh, puzzling ability here. Usually takes me an embarrassing amount of attempts with puzzles. There we go. Jump the gun. I don't know what the breathing does, whether it's just an artistic thing. So we should be able to activate the other side. Right. It's lovely to look at, it really is. Waiting for a waiting for a bit of a jump scare with the music because yes, I can take a hint. YOLO <laughs> Can't think what those do but Lovely It's actually very relaxing this like I was saying, when there's no enemies in a game. Oh, I'm back here. Can we do both? Oh, I'm missing one. Just have to go exploring. We've not already been here. How do I get that? Hmm. Can we not run up those beams? No. That looks like a hot air balloon, doesn't it? So Ok, 
Okay. Aha. Oh no, I've missed it. Or does it keep going up and down? Aha! Got ya. We only need four, but I'm gonna have a look this way as well. Or was that the way we came in? Don't want to hurt you, Mr. Big Rock. Sorry. Oh, I feel so bad. Come back. Thank you. So you've got a bigger home now. got this feeling like I'm, you know, on a beach at, you know, at sunrise the whole time here, really. <laughs> oh, this 
looks pretty epic. Nothing. No. I imagine we just need to jump from really high up. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> That wasn't high enough. That was such an anti climax. Do we need to go to the top? Yeah, we need to go to the top ring. Come on, little spirit friends. This man. We're flying, dude. Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> I'm waiting for a mood change here. Wish I could just look down a little bit. again green <laughs> Control. It's a very like the the pastely tone, the pastel tone of the colours is, is lovely. Something in this pot. Red birds. Can I not get back to this bit if I go down there? So I've still got the. I've got five little spirits. I think I've got five. Or four. Oh, that one. <laughs> yeah, I always find this is a problem in level design, is because you, you're so expectant of them giving you this. Oh, okay, you could go this way, boy, but you could go this way thing in level design. So you're always. You don't want to progress something too far before you can't go back. 
Wonder what it's going to reveal, or whether this is option optional bit. Sure, which way I should be going. The birds are the most sinister thing. crumbly edge here let's go into the jungle mushrooms <laughs> no mushrooms Mushrooms. <laughs> what well, little mushrooms? Let's go. Let's take a deep breath. There we go. Oh, radishes. Get back in there. Hey! Oh music, this music is just, it's just so spot on. Mosquitoes. Mushrooms. Oh, got chameleon platforms. We got a little airborne fish. More red birds. Hey, Mr. Cube. Come back, Mr. Cube. Need your help. Nope. Is that you, Mr. Cube? Get back here. There's no more than one Mr. Cube. No, I have no idea.
Lovely music. Slide. Very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Hey, square apples. Back here, Mr. Cube. Come on, friend. We're going on a journey. All cubes and all regular 3D shapes are welcome. Especially cubes. Where is your cuboid? Oh, I've been calling you the wrong name and you're upset with me. He's more of a cuboid, Mr. Cuboid. Oh, Mr. Cuboid. I just do. No. Oh, I've got to knock the apple down. There's your apple, Mr. Cuboid. Where do we go now? Ah, there's more apples. I see you, greedy goats. More apples. You're going to turn into a giant cuboid. Yep. Let's go, friend. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to leave that one there. We will continue our adventure with Mr. Cuboid in the next episode. So if you like this one, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, think about subscribing and join Clan Drummond. Just remember, everyone, never trust and on crate. I'll see you in the next one.